Hello all. Uh, so in this video, we will see how to set up audit audit history for uh, sales objects, uh, business objects in Oracle Fusion Cloud. Uh, for example, like uh, um, if we go to opportunity, and then um, so we need if we if we if we need to track uh, what field is changed by uh, by whom uh, at what time. Okay. To get that information, uh, to track that information, uh, we can enable uh, out of the box feature called uh, audit history uh, for all the business objects. So now we will we will see how what are the uh, steps uh, to enable that feature. So currently, this opportunity doesn't have a, a sub tab, so where it will show the uh, change history. So once we enable the setup, so we can see that sub tab here. And then if we click on that, so we will see uh, like uh, example, who changed opportunity name uh, at what time and uh, what is the previous value and what is the current value. So all of that information we can see in the sub tab itself. So, so for that, we'll, we'll go to first uh, uh, FSM task called manage audit policies. So in the setup and maintenance, So click on search and then go to manage audit policies. So click on this task and drill down. So here we can see uh, manage audit policies and we are going to set up for Oracle Fusion up, Fusion application business objects. So we need to look or we need to edit in this particular area, Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. So click on configure business or business object or attributes. And here uh, it is uh, divided into uh, different products. Uh, for example, uh, under common CRM, so we can see accounts, contacts, house, households. So you can see here. Uh, and here we can see uh, what is the audit top node and what is the sub, sub nodes and subgroups. So under customer, we have account and under account, we have relationship, email, all that. So here currently on, only for account, uh, only for account and uh, customer it is enabled. And also we need to note one, one thing that it is, uh, if, if we cannot just uh, enable only account. So all the top hierarchy we need to enable. It means like if audit top node is enabled and then we need to, step one is enable audit top node and then customer and then under account. So all of these three should be enabled for account. And if you want to enable web, so we need to enable a uh, web account and customer and top node. So like this, we need to enable. And uh, this is uh, under uh, common CRM. So here we below, we can see uh, for account and household also. So this is for house contact and uh, similarly for uh, household. Okay, so uh, and 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 other options are uh, like uh, sales. So in sales, we have uh, opportunity object. So if we go to sales, uh, opportunity is listed here. So we need to enable, right? So right now it is disabled. So we we will enable the first top node. We will enable and then opportunity. And then uh, we will enable just opportunity contact and opportunity revenue. Okay, uh, so uh, these these things we will enable. Uh, by default, if I just select account uh, opportunity, all are selected. So I don't need opportunity partner and opportunity split revenue. I don't want. 
opportunity recurring revenue also i don't need to track so only opportunity contact and opportunity revenue i wanted to uh, try okay so now uh, so once i click on opportunity so once i click on opportunity uh, uh, so in the uh, right hand side we can see uh, opportunity audit attributes so here it will show all the enabled attributes so these are all the attributes that were tracked so if we want to add one more we can just create uh, an inter an under actions or uh, we can click on this plus button so to add uh, additional attributes so now i'm going to just uh, select uh, this one and then i'll i'll add sales stage and and then um, comments okay uh, these are these are enough uh, but but what what uh, we can do is uh, we can do few more things okay so we can uh, add custom fields and all uh, after after enabling here so we just need to add that uh, new fields here in this area and once it is done just save and then save and close so opportunity setup is done so similarly we'll see uh, where uh, uh, so for partner management we have partner partner management uh, 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 product, right, and uh, partner management, and for uh, lead and lead lead uh, related objects will be in um, marketing marketing section. So where is marketing? Yeah. So there is a marketing uh, product. So under that we can see lead and all. And similarly for subscription management, inventory management, incentive compensation. So all of that we can see and uh, in the respective product modules. Okay, so deal will also come under uh, lead. So now uh, we will go to uh, opportunity and then we'll see uh, whether uh, we can see that subtab or not. So we can't see the subtab. So now we'll see how we can uh, enable. So we might need to enable sandbox and then we need to uh, add that uh, change history tab. So for that, we'll go to sandboxes and then we'll activate a sandbox and then we'll uh, enable that sub tab. So for that, we need a application composer because we need to we are going to edit the edit the page layout so we'll go to opportunity pages and then uh, we can uh, we will copy uh, so in in this case i'm copying a new layout from uh, standard layout but uh, in your case, maybe you can use this custom layout itself. Uh, uh, so in this layout, I'm going to enable, uh, I'm going to use this layout and then I'm going to enable change history sub tab uh, in this particular layout. Okay, so here we can see uh, so by default, uh, change history sub tab is not enabled. So what we'll do is we'll go to uh, select select objects, and then we'll see uh, the sub tab. So in the <coughs> list of available sub tabs, also it is not available. So what we'll do, we'll we'll click on create. And here under common component, you can see uh, we can add compound com components such as notes and change history. So click on this common component and click on next. 
and enable change history here and then save and close Uh, once it is done, then just click on done and uh, if necessary, uh, change the layout order. So for now, the my layout is at the top, so no issues. So I'll go to opportunity and then I'll uh, see whether I can see this layout or not. I'll drill down to my opportunity. Uh, at the end, I can see change history. So currently it is showing uh, nothing because uh, we just enabled. And we, if we want to see uh, the the uh, the transaction uh, the audit history uh, between uh, these specific ranges, we can use this filter and we can uh, use. Okay. And if we want to use uh, like a complete past history uh, history before this date. Uh, so we can just use, uh, it means lifetime, um, lifetime uh, chart uh, change history. So we can just use before and then we can use uh, today's date so that every, uh, all the history will come. Today's date or uh, tomorrow's date, we can, if we, if we search, so all the uh, uh, history will come here. So now what we will do is uh, we will change few fields uh, in the opportunity level. And then we'll try to see what is the uh, change history we, we, we will get. Okay. Uh, so first we'll select, uh, we'll change sales stage. And we, we will change uh, when probability and sales channel from direct to indirect status from open to no sale. So um, win loss reason, okay, and then I'm saving. Now we'll go to change history and then we'll enable search before let's search. So one more uh, small uh, a uh, change we need to do is uh, while uh, while editing this manage audit policies, uh, so defaultly uh, it will set uh, to none um, the audit policies. I'll show you manage audit. So here audit level is uh, none. So uh, earlier it was none, none. so uh, we saw the blank screen. So, so that uh, we need to change to auditing. Okay, then after, after that, just click save and then uh, come to 
uh, opportunity and uh, select the opportunity that we want to uh, see the history. Suppose this, uh, we'll see first uh, the earlier history. So once we enable, so after that, whatever is changed, that only will be tracked. So the earlier uh, history will not be uh, tracked here. So now the recent change is at 11.26 AM, right? So now we'll change uh, uh, one more value. So the sales stage value will change from 0 0.5 to 0 0.6. Okay, and then we'll save. Now we'll go to change history. And you can see uh, a recent update is 11.28. That is uh, at this time, 11.28 AM by this user, an update action is uh, performed for opportunity object. Okay, and the field is the, the changed fields are sales stage and win probability. So once we select say, uh, the old value is 05 agreement and the new value is negotiation. So this is all we can see uh, from the uh, audit history. And if you want more details, we can just select uh, this show user related details and additional attribute uh, uh, object identifier columns for uh, any IDs okay and uh, we can also export okay so these are the uh, like uh for, so this context name is nothing but opportunity number revenue number the respective record number right and uh, then context value one will be that opportunity number okay and and we can export this particular uh, uh, change history to Excel and CSV. Okay. And in the search options, we can see uh, all this you uh, by user. So by which action we can filter, we can just filter add or only create update and a modified object. So, so we can filter. So based on new value and field name, field value, everything we can chain so here we can see only for this record right so what if we want to see for entire opportunity object so for that uh, we can go to uh, under tools uh, we have audit reports uh, and then if we click on uh, the date here so we want a date after uh, first okay and then um, we can select sales as a, a mod product since opportunities in sales. Then business object will be opportunity. So, and we can also select the event. So we need update only and click on search. So since here we have changed only one, uh, one or uh, one record only one record will come here but if we have multiple records so with this specified conditions all the records will be listed here okay and in the description um we can see it it is the uh, name of the opportunity so this is the name of the opportunity so based on that so we can uh, we can put here the name of the uh, of that particular opportunity and then we can filter it should be exactly same as uh, the uh, name so if we just give test it won't work so uh, so here also we have similar uh, uh, export options and filter options like that uh, like we saw in ua so this is how we can track uh, uh, business object data in uh, oracle fusion cloud And for uh, for custom business objects, so we uh, we can use this product as CRM application composer, so that we can see all the custom objects in this particular product.